today is St. Patty's Day. It is indeed. Yeah, I'm surprised that you're still sober. <laughs> or at least you come across as sober on, on yeah. the camera. That's the trick. It's like uh, in the Avengers when they asked Bruce Banner, how do you stay stop from being angry? He says, that's the trick. I'm angry all the time. So if you're drunk all the time, nobody knows you're, when you're drunk. Yeah, good. I have been drunk in a long time. Consumed alcohol, but drunk, no. No. I I think, uh, well, I started this diet in November. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I've had three or four beers since then. In that whole time. That is very impressive. Good job. So, I'm high on life. I don't need uh, alcohol. Year. Yeah, that, that, that came across as so convincing. You, you should see the replay of that. Yeah, it's, it's like it's the best of motivational speakers I've yeah. ever seen. That yesterday, I was, I was practicing in my uh, my new scripts and stuff on my family. Yeah. You know what they told me? What? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So they're not going to be any help of uh, letting me practice. Um, I've... Um, I've, I've been exploring that AI program, and uh, I've also looked into that conversion, conversion.ai. Yeah. You have to put down your credit card before you get into it. So they're both uh, based on three uh, GPT-3 technology. That's the one that Google made famous. Okay. Uh, from OpenAI. It's the technology that has, it's like, it's like a coin. And uh, depending on which side you look at it, you're you're always amazed, but for different reasons. You look at one side, and it's holy cow! This is this is conversa- This is actual conversational language. Yeah. I can see how people would write like that. It uh, it can write um, show scripts if it's if you have a powerful enough machine. Like literally show scripts. It's amazing, right? Yeah. And you, you, you flip the coin and all of a sudden you realize holy crap it can write scripts I actually don't even know if the newspaper that I just read yesterday was generated by a machine based on what it found on the internet or was it actually a product of a human conversation yeah. remember that um, remember that showcase when, when Google was showcasing a, a robot a, an AI system dialing in to book a hair appointment no I don't remember that no, oh, it's, it, it was pretty good. It, I think two years ago, the um, the cool thing is is that AI made perfect use of um, uh huh, okay. So you know that those nonverbal cues yeah. that you and I would use in the course of normal conversation, it was spot on. It was able to talk to a person on the other line, book an appointment, picking between multiple times. Uh, pretending to think over the answers and the person wasn't the wiser. Yeah. And it's, so it's, it's amazing when you look at it from one side of the point, but then it's on the other side, it's like, it's scary as we're shit. All, we're yeah. all, we're all doomed. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's not, it's not far fetched to see that. some of the narrative that you're reading is, well, hold on. Realistically, what does it matter where the narrative comes from? Yeah, but the challenge the challenge becomes is that AI, like any computer system, works on uh, training data sets. You and I would know that better than anyone else, having yeah. spent time with an AI application. In other words, whatever the training set, whatever the history of published media is, that's what the training set is going to be for any a conversational AI. Which means all of humanity's mistakes, all of the um, periods and uh, logical fallacies that uh, am I pronouncing the word fallacy correctly? I think so. Okay, good. Moving on. So all of that, all of that is built into what it generates. So because because then there's no critical thinking. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. All the the past mistakes are built in. Well, and the, and if you think about the fact that. Uh, you know what the saying is, history is always written by the winners. Yeah. So it's always skewed to, to one side or the other. Yeah, for sure. You, you, give, you give it a training set from the Soviet days, oh my God, communism is everywhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's 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 very good. It's interesting. Yeah, I, I spend a little bit of time on um, the first one, whatever it was called now, Script AI. Is that what it was called? Uh, the oh, the original uh, automatic script. No, the one you, the first one you just talked about. Copy dot AI. What? Sorry. Copy. Copy AI. AI. Yeah. Dot AI. I, I spent a little bit of time on that one. Yes, I started my free trial. Yeah. And I did. Uh, I got copy for sales pages for um, headlines. I think it was, and I think there was one other one. Like I don't know. I copied about twenty things and just put it into a PowerPoint slide just yeah. to, to save them. But yeah, I'm amazed. Like it was very good <laughs> at, uh, uh, at identifying stuff. So yeah, I generated a couple of them and used two right on the, on the course description page. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Oh, so, Big news, big news. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm ready. April 5th is when I launch my course. So that's my, uh, that, uh, when I launch my mini course. So this is where I'm going to be recruiting beta testers. Um, how big is your email list? On Kajabi, I think I have 25 people now. Solid. Although, like, that's that includes you, three of me, my wife, and my daughter. So it's really, like, 20. Three one person. <laughs> I had two like over like this is what drives me crazy with Kajabi a little bit although it's not Kajabi I guess it's just bots or whatever but like last night I got overnight I had two people two confirmations that my submission form was filled out for my webinar yeah. but then when I go into Kajabi and the people they're not there which means they didn't do the the double opt-in mm -hmm. so I have all, like between the interview simulator and this course like there's umpteen of these non double opt-in things so whether they're real people or just bots or I don't know what it is, but right. I've now put it like on my th confirmation page when you submit, I've put a note on there that you'll get a com if you're new to our courses, you'll get a confirmation email. Please check yeah. your junk f folder. Uh, do you use uh, do you use recapture on the co uh, on no the no? Hmm. I've seen some comments on the Facebook about Kajabi getting into that. But I don't think it's it's not an integrated um, feature That's right now. That's true because it's a uh, well I don't know maybe maybe for platforms it's not free because for me it's free. I just went to Google, registered it, and introduced recapture on my site. Yeah. Um, interesting, interesting. So yeah, so April fifth is when it's supposed to launch. So this uh, I, I had a. I had office hours yesterday, and so one of the one of the coaches uh, she basically said, "So when are you launching?" I said, "Well, I don't know." She says, and you'll have a launch. Yeah. So date. You have like I have a calendar of every all of the steps that I need to take between that launch and now. So now that my date is picked, now I'm working towards that date. Yeah. So do you have and to gonna, do you have to advertise to get people? Well, today is uh, I'm going to be sending out recruitment um, emails to like who I would love to see as affiliates. Yeah. So anyone with a list, and so anyone who comes through them, I will promise them a portion of if people convert into the big course. Right. Which is uh, which is why I was asking you. How many do you have on your list? Oh? How many do you have on your list? 13, and three of them are you, me, my wife. Okay. So. So you're, I'm not much better off than you are then. <laughs> but, um, so, so today I'm, I'm sending all of the, like, like the schools that I want to tap into. I'm just going to send cold emails, yeah. uh, asking them to promote to students. Then I'm going to ask my wife to reach out to a couple of um, big name nutritionists. I mean, we'll send, we'll send an email. They say no, yeah. please. But if they say yes, good. It's going to go out to their list. Uh, then um, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to use Udemy for the first time and uh, maybe run a solo with somebody. Uh, that, that was going to be a straight up promotion. And uh, so if so, that should, should should happen today. Oh crap! That's that's a lot of writing, but it's okay. Um, maybe I'll use a copy.ai. There you go. 
and then by the weekend my ads will start running uh, so i'm trying i'm trying to see if i can get organic uh, and i'm going to post everything on my and Natalie's social media yeah. inviting people to join cool so for the time being i'm just collecting i'm collecting emails i did a couple of recordings yesterday which um and as a beta test does that mean it's free uh it is uh, technically yes it's free um but in in exchange for testimonials and feedback right that's my that's that's my course so if people come into the facebook group and they don't participate they don't say anything i boot them out okay i'm supposed to boot them out yeah i don't we'll, so we'll see how it goes it's easy to say boot somebody out when you have thousands of people opting in yeah and if you have 20 yeah <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and, and my bigger course I'm going to be offering for uh, one time payment of $3,500 or $4,000 if it's over a period of nine, uh, three months. Maybe that's too much. I think that's, that's too greedy. That's, um, yeah. Well, like the course I'm taking, it's a 12 week course, 90 days, yeah. and it was 3400 and something. If you do that, like it was 1995 pounds. Which converts to about thirty four hundred bucks. So, yeah, I mean, for me, it was on. It was like the high side of what I was willing to. I might have been able to go up to four thousand. I don't know. Like it, just in terms of my price elasticity, but it's. I don't know. What's the What's the promised outcome of your course? So what 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 will you What What's going to be your transformation? You've done the course. You expect to be able to do what? Uh, well, you expect to have your coaching practice up and running. You expect to have your first paid clients, and you expect to know how to register people or enroll people into um, pa coaching packages, so that it's not just an hourly one off. Good. That's that's a good promise. Yeah. So, yeah. So my my promise is going to be that you will have all of the all of the systems and business plan written. You will be able to. You will have at least three products that you are uh, offering, uh, in addition to just one on one consulting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm. Going I mean, to it's be, funny because it's like you know they promise all this stuff, but you still have to do all the work. Like the oh, yeah. like yeah, what you're what you're getting is the process and the accountability, right? Yeah, yeah. And the but, and the, the guidance. Thing is, if, if if they if they did the work for you, you can easily have doubled the value of that package. Because yeah. I now on my website, sure, if you come to me and you want a high converting website with email automation. Oh, hold on. Um, let me let me just brag and you'll tell me because I never actually asked you to look into this. Not not look into this. What I mean to say is uh, critique this, but oh, yeah. be interesting uh, what you have to say. What's this? A new web design? No, this is. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the lead magnet. See? Yeah. Nice, eh? so I'm gonna get rid no, I, I so I have my services now here, and the services. Um, So it's DIY, this is the, so, uh, sorry, DFY done for you, done with you, and do it yourself. Yeah. This, is, this is essentially courses, this is a membership area, and this is a one-time thing. And then I'm, I'm talking about all of, the, all of the things that need to be done. Define your niche, write a business plan. So this is all, this all talks through the components of uh, packages and uh, contents, and I need to start changing because Spark Start. I've uh, for the time being, I've retired that, and it's going to be nailing a niche for nutritionists. And, sorry, nailing a nutritionist niche is my program right now. Okay, Look I like this, that. So done for you. This is this is what I'm charging is two ninety nine. And I have three-day turnaround, four-page WordPress website, all plugins configured, integrated autoresponder, five email sequences, 24 royalty-free blogs ready to edit and post, Google Analytics, Facebook setup, website dashboard, more details below. And then I'm, and I'm breaking down what that means. What that means a fully functional website, what, what are the insights, how it's going to be. See? Yeah. Here we capture two, email, set up two domains, 
free peer configure active campaign, all that stuff, content. And then uh, this is the subscriptions that people need in order to have this going and how much it costs. Wow. So for three grand, you'll, you basically set them up. Yeah, I set them up. The, the, um, it's, it's great for people who, who kind of know the business side of it, yeah. but they don't want to mire themselves in tech. They just need to get going or they need to replatform themselves uh, I found that Thrive uh, Suite, I, man, I'm every day I'm fighting. So in this course, you sign up, so I paid a heck of a lot of money for the course. But then you find out that if you want to do a, a survey, you need to use uh, a survey monkey or a type form. Yeah. Now, type form limits you to only 10 questions. And if you want to create a link at the end of your survey to uh, another website, that's also premium feature so boom all of a sudden you're at i think it's 9.99 or 19.99 monthly fee okay active campaign well luckily i already have a subscription then you go uh, how do you create captions for a video well there's the script so that's that's another fee monthly fee. yeah it, it all adds up um you want to present your courses to the world think kific that's another 99 dollars a month fee yeah and i was like okay okay yeah i um i'll, I'll just go with the flow and then i thought to myself I was like, why would i i have thrive quiz builder built into my platform done landing pages i don't need to use insta pages or uh, click funnels or anything like that i'm doing it on my site i need to do a course thrive apprentices right there so it's they, they've done a very good job thinking through all with everything you need. And uh, so I'm not limited right now, and I don't have to uh, use those extra costs. And this is the, this is the same thing. So yeah, for 3000 bucks, I can turn around and have people set up and ready to go in the nutrition world. That's awesome. But that leaves you with the same problem. That if you haven't gone through the mindset change, yeah. Just say, so you have it, so what? Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. So now now I'm recruiting people for yeah. the beta. So beta, a beta is a two-week course uh, on... I mean, that is the big motivator, right, though, is the, the, the sweet spot of that price point. Is that is that a big enough spend for somebody to motivate them to take action? Because it's, yeah. it's not unlike the courses we just signed up for, right? Like... Part of what you motivates you to follow through and do the stuff in the course is that you just shelled out all this money, yeah, and you want to make it pay off. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so I've uh, I think I have uh, ninety days with the program, and I want to make sure that I go through at least two beta launches. So April fifth, I go. There's two weeks. Um, so April fifth is the launch, and April. By April 18th, everything's closed, and I'm selling them into the course, and that will give me the end result. And the course that you're launching, it's all recorded? Like, there's no live uh, component? No, I'm launching right now. Yeah, the, like your beta test, it's a pre-done course? It's, it's a pre-recorded course, but with, uh, with me moderating the Facebook group, and everyone signs up for the Facebook group, okay. and four, four live coaching sessions throughout the two weeks. Okay. Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I might do a bonus live session, which is going to be... Um, and that's live to the group, like it's not one-on-one? -on -one. You no, know, it's, it's, it's a Zoom. Uh, it's, a, it's a Zoom that's recorded and streamed into the Facebook group. Yeah. Anyone who joins can join, but I'm going to be doing it the webinar style. Because if you have... I mean, if there's only a handful of people who join, yeah. which is really unfortunate because your conversion rates... Uh, based on whatever population you have. Yeah. But if it's a smaller number, I'm going to do high touch where I'm, I'm going to allow people to chat like you yeah. and I are. Yeah. If, if there's hundreds or if there's over 50 at least, then it's going to be webinar presentations and people write their questions right. ahead of time and during the presentation and I'm just going to go through them. Cool. That's 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 the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. We'll see how many people I get because I still need to create ads. 
And uh, I only have done my module one for for this program, and I still need to focus on the English part. But I have material. Cool. I sent you that. What's that? Sent you what? Oh, I sent you that deck last night for the yeah, thing. Yeah, I've seen it all. Well. That's that's a. Uh, so Anderson Cooper style questions. <laughs> Based on what you've got going on, if you want to punt that till later, that's fine. I don't want to derail no, what you're, uh, it, you're doing. It would be a, it would be a good break. What do you want me? To, uh, what do you want me to talk about? My past life or like what I'm doing right now? It's really up to you. I mean, I, I would. You know, what you're doing right now is probably most relevant to. Yeah. Your your own audience. I mean, part part of what I'm trying to accomplish. I mean, less so with with you maybe, but with other people that I'm going to be interviewing is, you know, the hope that like you get somebody, you interview them, and then they're happy with the outcome. So then they share that with their whole network, and now you've you know you in increase your circle over here, and then you interview somebody else, and boom, you get those people. So yeah, well, that's that's that's, that's, that's the idea. idea. Something, something something will pay off. Yeah. That, that, that. So, but yeah. but for you, I mean, it, it gives you something too that, that you can then yeah. promote or um, I don't know, take tidbits oh, from, from. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? One one question I have for you: take take note as you go through your program what they're going to be talking about in terms of advertising and promotion. Yeah. Because I do believe that uh, there are many things to be gained from just, just learning from how other people do it. And I'll share with you what I learned. Okay. That's well. Sounds good. Well, I have my first call today at 2. With? With the, the coaching thing. I think it's an hour. So it's tough. It'll be interesting. This is the welcome call. Everyone has been posting on Facebook. So we've got people from, a number of people from the UK, somebody from Bavaria, I think, who's British, but she's living there. Mm -hmm. um, somebody in Texas, somebody in Nashville, somebody in BC. So it's quite a broad group of people. That's, that's, that's quite exciting how a wide of a net they are able to cast and attract people. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, I mean, his, one of his big contentions of, of now being kind of the sweet spot for getting into this kind of coaching in terms of virtual technology is that the pandemic has normalized. Everyone knows how to use this technology and is comfortable with it now. So it's a great time to start a business. Back again. Hello. Hello. Sorry. No just uh, discuss, discuss who's going to carry all the toy cars down uh, downstairs. <laughs> Big decision. Big decision. Thank God for those big decisions. Exactly. Exactly. Thank God. I wish all of my decisions were about that. I know. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So let's 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 get this going and uh, yeah, let's let's do the interview. It's, there's no time like the present. All right. So you'd let me know what, when you want to do it, and uh, we'll set it up. <laughs> Cool. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. When, when do you want to do it? Um, well, the, the only thing I really have booked is this Wednesday call every week. Other than that, I'm quite flexible. So if you want to do it right after this call one morning, if that works for you, that yeah. might be better. Yeah, yeah let's, 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 let's plan for that. that. Oh, oh, and by the way, tomorrow I will need to uh, cancel our call out because um, I need to take my mom to the dentist. That's not going to be a short appointment. Okay. Yeah, I had my dad at the dentist yesterday. He had a, his, he's only got like five teeth left, and one of them <laughs> fell out. <laughs> so yeah, now so. he's got to get his denture adjusted, and uh, what a pain in the ass. That's how life is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. All right, take, take care. care. See ya. Yeah.